Stupid. Yo, what they do? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Mac. Mac Millionaire, aka MacTheDJ.com, the DJ.com, aka Cash City Big Chief Stepper, aka Yo, all that, all that. But welcome back, man. Today I spent a lot of money on something that I may or may not use. There's a lot of stuff in this room that I probably use like two or three times that I probably should sell on let go that I'm not, um, you know, we gonna review. Now I mispronounce this or if I say this wrong, like don't trip, you know what I'm saying? I'm not used to buying expensive stuff. Don't trip at all. It's the Roll, Roll Caster Pro Mixer Board Thingamabob that they use for podcasters. I spent a lot of money on something that similar to this that I didn't use a long time ago. It's called the Zoom H6 that I barely use. I didn't use it for podcasting. I did use it for like some interviews. But since I'm, everybody always telling me, man, you need to talk. People want to hear you. A ba ba ba. Your voice need to be heard. A la la la. I decided that I was going to invest some money into into podcasting. So now I I drove some Uber Eats. I made some extra money and I got a little bit of money to try this podcasting thing out. So shout out to Uber Eats. You know, you know, I mean I lost my car, I had to total my car, but hey, we got this money for this this podcast gear. So I, I we're, we're about to look at the Rode Rodecaster Pro and I also have the Rode Podcaster something the microphone is like 230 so i got the, the expensive microphone and now i got the expensive mixing board the roll roll caster they could name these things a little bit better than what what the hell they naming them but whatever they got my money just like they got your money they got my money they got your money let's get into it i don't know why it came in this super duper this stupid, stupid, huge box, but it did. It's 100% recycled. Kudos to Guitar Center, you know. My handy dandy box cutter. I've had this box cutter for like 15 years now. I used to work at Sears back in the day. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get up in there. Ooh, -ee. ooh, -ee. I heard they put like something free in here. Like somebody messed up, they messed up the order or something. Put something. Let me, oh, let me knock on wood. Somebody messed up the order. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Ship two, yeah, 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 yada, 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 whatever. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's a return label, okay. Hope y'all ain't see my address. Hear that bit? This thing is heavy. Jesus, this thing is heavy. Oh. But here we go. It is the, the Rode, Rodecaster Pro. It's a nice white box. It's pretty heavy. This thing must be solid. This, I didn't even have to do that. It was kind of already off. Okay, how that thing gonna look? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I open this? Oh, um, mm -hmm. I really didn't expect it for this to be this this heavy. That's pretty good. Oh, what's going on out of here? <sighs> bro, I'm getting tired. Okay, <laughs> okay, bro. What are these, like, flash cards? I'm gonna keep my box. I always keep my box just in case I resell it. So I'm gonna probably actually put all this into the box. Let me see what this card is. I said it's like cards. How to connect it to the computer, record it to an SD, use your headphones, different languages. 
how to get the latest version, which is probably gonna be the first thing I do is get the latest version, just to update it ASAP. This is fly, I might put this on the wall. Yeah, I'm, I might do something, this is fly. I don't, I just don't understand why these things are so thick, bro. This is like a flash card for real, like A, B, Bum, bum, bum. It's the room. Is there something here? Bro, where the cables at? Oh, they're right here. Bum, bum, bum. Nothing in here neither. Like, my first impression is how heavy this thing is. Like, I was already thinking about getting a case, which I probably still will do, but I just, most mighty things are like very light, and I guess this isn't mighty. I'm used to like touching pianos and uh like no launch pads and stuff like that even the the zoom a6 that i just you know it's small it's pretty light this thing is heavy asap this is interesting <clears throat> if i turn it this way can you guys see a little bit better maybe if i zoom in a little bit i don't even know does that help? Hold on, I'm coming. I'm new, I'm new, I'm new. I'm new. I'm new. Still new. Well, you know, this is basically it. You got track one, track two, track three, track four, mute. You got your, well, it's the mute. I'm not sure what this is. You got your USB track, you have your phone, which is, I believe, like a three quarters, maybe, like iPhone three quarter uh, cord. You got the Bluetooth, which is obviously the Bluetooth. And I'm not sure what this is, but it seems like it may be a master of some sort, or maybe something with these pads. I'm not sure, but the build quality on all of this is very smooth. Like these, this this thing, like they feel good. It doesn't feel cheap at all. The buttons on this thing is like excellent, like seriously. There's a warning here, what does the warning say? Equipment features headphones, output. Don't be a dummy, stupid. Don't listen to it too loud, dumb dumb. Huge record button just in case you forgot if you're recording or not, which is something I often do. These buttons are pretty tough. They're hard to move. Headphones, okay. So they really must like not want you to like die of headphone explosion or something like that. I don't know. So if we flip it over, you can see from here. Um, you have a power button, which is cool. We have the AC adapter. Is this USB C? Y'all know if that's USB C? I don't know. The micro. SD card, which probably comes in handy if you're doing anything remote. I don't know what this is. Left, right, mm, I don't know. You have your four um, microphone jacks, and then you have one, two, three, four inputs. This is a pretty solid piece of work. Like, it really is. It's a pretty solid thing. What's in here? DC adapter. Oh, is this a DC adapter? Oh yeah, okay. DC adapter. Power cord. And like more cardboard stuff. The hell is all that cardboard stuff? USB, appreciate it. You like stuff like this, like what am I gonna do with this? This is more cardboard stuff. If anybody could tell me like, what the hell am I supposed to do with any of this? It's a bunch of cardboard, I don't know. What's it, I, I guess. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And that's it, there's no more boxes. 
Hey man, that's it, man. That's, you know, we got the, the huge box open. We got a bunch of cardboard papers that I'm not sure what it is, but the build quality on this thing is excellent. I get that 10 out of 10. Um, I have not turned it on to see how it actually operates, you know, strictly unboxing. So I'm probably going to turn that on, connect that other expensive thing I got, the 230 microphone, and I'm probably gonna test it out. I'll let you guys know how it go, but so far, you know, I'm very impressed with the build quality. That thing is sturdy. Like if you have a podcast studio or an internet radio station or anything where it seems like a lot of people are going to be coming in and out, touching things and touching that, this might be something you should definitely consider. So uh, just give me a moment to play with it and record some things and whoop de whoop and then maybe like your own, you know, another video or so, I'll let y'all know how it go. But once again, thank you for listening. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Shout out, I ain't got no YouTube subscribers for real. Like, ain't nobody paying. If you, if you watch this, it's, it's two of us that watch this. Appreciate you. <laughs> it's back, man.